Hello, welcome to Tuesday's tarot tutorial video. Today I will be talking about the two significator cards for the astrological sign of Libra. The first card is the Justice card from the Major Arcana, and the other card is the King of Swords court card. The Justice card is all about keeping things in balance, maintaining social harmony, equilibrium, fairness, and equality, which are also some of the key words that describe the qualities of the sign Libra. The Justice card is a literal translation to its meaning of social justice. We have laws that regulate and maintain standards of social conduct within our society, which is why this card is depicted as Lady Justice. And you can see her sitting here between two concrete pillars, which represent the formality of the courtroom. Uh, she's also seen as holding the Sword of Truth. And it represents discernment as well and she's also holding the scales that measure the deeds of people an appropriate motto for the justice card is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction this is because it represents the law of karma of what goes around comes back around this is the fundamental law of physics within the universe the sun moves into the tropical sign of Libra each year on the autumnal equinox, which is on or around the 21st day of September, which is a time of equal day and equal night. Here we see the theme of equality again, shown as with the scales. The Justice card represents autumn as well as Libra. The King of Swords card is a character card, otherwise known as a court card, that represents the sign of Libra. Libra is a masculine sign shown by the male gender in this card. Libra is a cardinal air sign. All of the cardinal signs in the zodiac show up as the kings in the court cards, and all air signs are shown as sword characters in the court cards. Generally, swords represent logic, cognition, and mental processes. Swords people, like this king here, are generally smart and objective people. Libra has general qualities as an astute, intelligent sign that values peace and harmony. The King of Swords is the official that maintains the peace. Okay, so with the King of Swords, he is also holding a sword in the same hand and in the same position as the figure in the Justice card. The good listening and communication skills, as well as the objectivity he embodies, is seen represented by the sword he carries. The sword has two sides to it, meaning that he can see two sides to every story. The sword is double-edged, and sometimes this causes for a divided or indecisive mind. He is very intelligent, practical, factual, communicative, and a very good listener and observer. However, he can also sometimes be serious, cold, or aloof. These are generally good qualities to have when people are needed who are able to keep a cool head under pressure. In some extreme cases, that would be displayed more as his reversed position. He can play mind games or be cruel, and especially with his words. Okay. So oftentimes people who have a lot of Libra planets in their astrology chart make good social workers, lawyers, and court justices. We saw this image of the courtroom in the justice card. So Libras are commonly found as librarians, police officers, research in IT, and any job position really that requires logical skills, logical strategies, or in any extensive communication. All of these positions represent the occupational strengths of the King of Swords personality type, and also any job that requires a uniform, because this is a rather formal character card that plays by the rules and regulations of a company. So generally, he's a straight shooter and an honest fellow. Okay, so sometimes, though, he can be sometimes maybe brutally honest, okay? So not taking into consideration the feelings of others because, again, he rules mental activity. 
Besides the swords, the other noticeable commonalities between these two figures are the attire that they're wearing. So the yellow crowns that both of them have represent intelligence and quick wit and keen discernment. The red capes that they are clothed in, um, it represents self-control basically and discipline as well. The gray concrete slabs that are seen in the Justice card as well as the throne in the King of Swords card that extend beyond the uh, top of the card and beyond the border of the card sort of uh, represent higher realms of the mind and imagination that's kind of connected to the cosmic order of the universe. So we see that in similarity here is the concrete slabs are kind of moving off the card here and here, okay? So I think this will do it about the um, connection between the Justice card and the King of Swords cards. If you have any questions or comments about this tarot tutorial, please leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found this information useful and entertaining. Thanks so much for watching.